Uh, good day, everyone. Um, been playing around with the lighting uh, a little bit. Um, as you know, the panel's been dark or darkish from the viewer's perspective, um, and that's been because of a trade-off between the webcam at the back and at the sides, I guess, um, the Logitech webcams, 922s, um, firing and trying to distinguish between the the exposure of the TVs and the panel and it's just been hard to dial those in together so obviously I've needed some additional lighting um, to beef up the panel without washing out the back. Um, I've pl played around with a couple of different alternatives. Um, one was having a light underneath the camera uh, shining down but that can cast a light you could see it in front here looked like a, a rectangular sun <laughs> so, so that didn't work um, and then uh, trying some other alternatives as well but they were then casting you know getting really big um, reflections off the panel as well and that's probably another point to note for others um, I think in hindsight uh, if I was to do my panel again um, I'd probably make, uh, I think for example, I think this is, um, these standby indicators, I think this here is as a gloss finish and that's causing a bit of an issue uh, as is the acrylic, clear acrylic is tending to reflect a bit as well. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Um, short answer is, if you recall those uh, LEDs that I, LED panel lights that I had before, those rectangular ones, um, I've basically got them now on the floor at the rear of the sim. They're out of camera view at the moment, um, and they're literally just firing up kind of into this area here. And I think that's providing um, a much better view of the panel um, so let me know what you think. Uh, I've still, you can adjust these, you can adjust the lux and you can adjust the brightness. So I'll probably continue to play with that a little bit, but I think this is much better. However, having said that, there is one still flaw and I'll uh, see if you guys can pick it as I switch between the left and right camera views. Um, and, uh, Tell me if you can pick it, but it's certainly there. And uh, if you haven't picked it already, you can see I'm getting a reflection off the... Uh, I've got these file racks in the back of the sim where I put my flight plans and some other information. And they're metal, <laughs> as fate would have it. And so the light's casting it's bouncing off that and then obviously hitting the screen so I think I can fix that by just putting um, something non-reflective uh, off that off that there and then that'll hopefully resolve that anyway hopefully in the future videos beyond this that would have been fixed it's not too intrusive but it's enough to annoy me okay that's it uh, catch you on the next one see you again bye